What is up, everybody? This is Homie Talk 123 here. Hope you guys are having a great night. Now, for Dodgers fans, I think it's a great thing to remember 2008 to go back to those years when Manny Ramirez joined the team. Manny would. It was a huge thing. A huge thing overtook baseball and overtook Los Angeles as Manny Ramirez joined the Dodgers and hit almost 400 in the last 50 or so games to propel the Dodgers into the 2008 playoffs. They were not only in the playoffs. They swept the Cubs dominantly playing. I remember James Loney hit a grand slam. Everyone was at a peak. They had guys like Derek Lowe. They had Jonathan Broxson. They were beat in the NLCS. So sure, there's some natural disappointment there. Them going to the playoffs multiple years in a row, signing Manny Ramirez to a huge contract. It didn't play out in the end, but he did have a great ride in 2008. Now skipping subjects here to Hanley Ramirez, as this is a pitcher with his former manager Ozzie Guillen here. They didn't really get along, but again, Hanley Ramirez didn't get along with his former manager Freddie Gonzalez before that either. Uh, there's been problems with him, dramatic problems, you know, kind of overblown in the media probably, but there has been whether he's a good teammate. There's been questions like that just like Manny Ramirez. So yes, they have the same last name, but there could be more things they have in common than you might actually think. And yes, now they can both say they were a Dodger. Now, Hanley Ramirez and Jose Reyes might be best friends off the field, but what I do know is that when the Marlins went out and signed a bunch of guys, including the best shortstop that the free agent market has seen in the last five or six years in Jose Reyes, Hanley Ramirez was a little upset that he had to switch from his position of shortstop to third base. Remember, he's been a three-time All-Star shortstop, he's been runner-up to MVP, and a batting champion in 2009. He's been the Marlins' best player and one of baseball's best players for the last multiple years and all of a sudden he has to move to third base. But he did it because he wanted to help the team and he didn't want to cause a problem. But in the end, I think this is the best move for Hanley Ramirez, getting out of Miami, getting a new start in Los Angeles. Now, of course, sitting here on the first day of Hanley Ramirez as a Dodger, we don't know whether he's going to hit 300 as a Dodger, if his numbers will improve. But what we do know is that we, as a fan base of Major League Baseball, need to support this guy. He has struggled the last two years. He has not been completely happy in Miami. And I'm speaking for him, and I may be wrong, but what it seems to be on the outside. He has not been completely happy with the managers. He hasn't been completely happy with the situation that he's had. And of course, he can't be completely happy with the Marlins not winning. Now he's in Los Angeles. It's sunny, it's nice, you're on the West Coast, and you have fans, sellouts every day here with the team that you have right now. Now the organization of the Los Angeles Dodgers now have the money put forth to invest in Hanley Ramirez. They put forth, they take the risk. They didn't give up much prospect-wise, and even if uh, Evoldi, who they give up, comes out to be a fourth, fifth type starter, they have that in their minor league system to internally su supply. They have enough good pitching prospects to internally supply a pitcher, or they'll have the money to go out in the free agent market and make a deal or make a trade. So don't worry about the prospects that they gave up in the deal. The only aspect is the money aspect. And if Hanley Ramirez goes back to the performance of a few years ago, it won't even be a question whether it was worth it or not. Right now, in his first game, he went two for four, a triple in his first at-bat, a run scored, and a walk, and an RBI. Now, if you're looking at that, an exciting new player who has a chance for a new beginning, a fresh start, he's playing in Los Angeles, the manager, Don Mattingly, I couldn't think of a better manager to play for at this point. I think Hanley Ramirez is in a great spot, and I think as a fan base for MLB, and especially I'm talking to you Dodgers fans, create that Hanley Wood vibe, create that atmosphere, create it for the Los Angeles Dodgers, see if they can overtake the Giants and overtake the division and be the underdogs this year and get some momentum and go into the playoffs and win it all. Now, if the Dodgers make the playoffs, whether they win the NOS or the wild card, it probably won't just be because this acquisition of Hanley Ramirez. I may be wrong on that. He may hit 500, and I may be completely wrong. But it is a very key acquisition either way you look at it, not just for this year, but for the future. But if you're just looking short term, the Dodgers have shown that they have the money, they have the resources to go out and win now and the future. They're looking at controlled players and not necessarily guys like Ryan Dempster even though they're a miss in trade talks and they had the leverage in the situation against the Cubs but they would much rather go and get a guy like Matt Garza who has shown that he can pitch in pressure who is pitching the AL East who can pitch in the playoffs and is going to be controlled for another year the money issue not a problem with any of those guys they've shown that by going and taking the risk and getting a guy like Hanley Ramirez but if Hanley Ramirez which I really strongly believe will return to the old Hanley Ramirez of MVP type years batting 330 uh, I mean maybe not necessarily 330 but he is a career 300 hitter 
Um, either way, the Dodgers will dramatically improve this year and next year. And look at all the money that's going to be available for them to spend. They're going to be an exciting team to watch for years to come with Kemp and Ethier and now Hanley Ramirez locked up for a few years. Now, even for this trade deadline, they're still looking at pitchers Garza and Dempster, and they're still looking at guys like Hunter Pence. If they can acquire Hunter Pence and put him in that five hole and him, Hanley Ramirez in the two hole, and he starts getting on base more, watch out. That lineup, the top five, is better than just about anyone else. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. That lineup will compete with any NL team. Welcome to Hanleywood.